millions of Ugandans across different sectors of the economy on different business platforms, the feeling remains strong that majority of business owners and workers indeed are overshadowing the tax burden. It's really important to think about ways to strengthen revenue mobilization. That's, I mean, Uganda's revenue performance is really one of the lowest in, in Africa. And, and why is that? Well, our, we've looked at this, and our assessment is that the main explanation, the most important explanation, is that you have a widespread uh, system of tax exemptions, investment incentives, uh, and those, you know, are all done for a purpose, right? With a target of approximately 6.9 trillion shillings for collection by the Uganda Revenue Authority at the end of this financial year, many enterprise growth experts caution that a very difficult financial year, dominated with high inflation and expensive interest rates, will have an impact on future compliance and thus the need for new investment vehicles. Mortgages, SMEs, uh, we, see, uh, we see business growth runs, all of that. NSSF should also come in, liberalize itself, and compete with these banks, whose primary objective is to sell off uh, properties for borrowers. You know, NSSF has that capacity also to do that. And as many Ugandan taxpayers continue to experience difficulties in actively developing the saving culture, those within the insurance docket that currently stands at nearly 300 billion shillings feel that taking cover for private sector players remains a strategic option. When you have to pay uh, too much in form of taxes, definitely you, you, you think to cut on some other expenditures. But I would urge the insuring public, when they are thinking of where to cut, they should not uh, think of cutting out insurance. Because if they do so, they do so at their own expense and peril. However, cross-section of investment advisors, on the other hand, are arguing that government agencies such as the Uganda Investment Authority too need to shift its focus on how it participates in the investment and trade climate of the economy. Attract people with cheap money out there, because a lot of money is out there, lying redundant, and investment authorities looking at investors who come here to basically take away money out of the country instead of bringing money inside the country. I think the investment authority should take that leading role to invest, to, to encourage people or companies that have money out there to bring it in the country so that our people get it. It's also being pointed out that without reforms that shore up long-term investment prospects in the economy, future tax compliance and indeed growth may be far from being realized. Raina Urgent, NTV Business.